I want to find the partial fractions expansion for this rational function. Notice that the degree of the top is bigger than the degree of the bottom. So first we have to divide. So if you do the division, you, say, you see that this rational function is equal to x plus this. And now with this rational function, the degree of the top is smaller than the degree of the bottom. So what we then have to do is factor the, the bottom. And in this case, you can factor it. You can use synthetic division and the rational root theorem to accomplish that. And then you find that the original partial uh, rational function is equal to this. Therefore, I can look for a partial fractions expansion of this. It must be of this form. All right, you have to be careful to pick one that's of the right form. Now, multiply both sides by the denominator, and you get this here. Now, uh, this is something where we have to find what a and b and c and d are. To do that most easily, you ought to let x equal to 1, because then this term will be 0 and this term will be 0. You'll put in 1 wherever you see an x, and you can solve for a. So when you do that, you find that 27 is equal to 9a, and so a is equal to 3. Next, plug in x equal to minus 1 half. Then, when you do that, you could use synthetic division if you like. You find that on the left, you get minus 9 eighths is equal to b times minus 9 eighths. And so b is equal to 1. So therefore, you can say that, um, that this thing here, see that's this thing, minus uh, 3 times this, you see the a is 3, minus 1 times this is then equal to this. Now, simplify this, this left-hand side. You multiply everything out and add them up. And then that gives you 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2x for all this stuff. And that's equal to this. Now, you notice that x minus 1 divides both sides. So you could use synthetic division or long division, whatever you want, to divide both sides by x minus 1. And then you find that 4x squared plus 2x is equal to this. And now you see 2x plus 1 divides both sides. So go ahead and divide both sides by it. And then you find that this reduces to 2x equal to cx plus d. So c is equal to 2, and d is equal to 0. So it follows that the original rational function is equal to x plus 3 over x minus 1, 1 over 2x plus 1, and 2x over this. Now, when you get done with one of these, it's often a good idea to check your work and see if you got it right. So if you check your work, you would want to see if this thing is equal to the original thing that you started with. And what happens is, if you go ahead and add these fractions and simplify, you do find that it works.